breaking news. See what Fulani Etman did to an OPC members in Nundo State that made people react. Insecurity has been the major problem of Nigeria and recently. Nigeria has recorded an increased attack from the Boko Haram bandits, kidnappers and the most dreaded Fulani Etman. Even if the effort of President Mwadu Buhari to, take, to make sure that peace reigns in Nigeria come some sectors who are not happy with his progress as determined to give him a bad name. Again, there have been a great tension in Ondo State after another dreadful attack was launched by the Fulani X-Men again. Suspected Fulani X-Men have reportedly killed a member of the Odudua People's Congress, the person of Daniel in Eju Akurel North local government area of Ondo State. This is coming barely two weeks after the state governor, Roti Miakredolu, ordered its men to vacate the government, government forest reserve and register. It was gathered that the disease was part of the speech team again, organized to secure the release of a farmer, Solomon Akimeji. Akimeji was reportedly adopted by the ex men in his farm on Saturday at Okeji Farm Settlement in the town. The farm was located at the border area between Ondo and Ekiti State. Confirming the development, the state police public relations officers, Mr. Tio Liu Ikuru, said that an investigation has commenced into the matter while some detectives from the state have been drafted to comb the forest. This attack by the Fulani X-Men has made a lot of Nigerians to react because they believe that their lives and properties are no longer safe and they need the federal government intervention. See some reactions here. I want to read some reactions and you listen. Let's get, let's uh, listen to what the citizens or the residents' um, opinion concerning these um, Fulanese invading their community. Some said, fight back people of Imo. The land is yours, not grazing reserves. For you to think that the life of a cow is more than a human then, you must be a lunatic. Are you interested in venturing into rabbit business? Another one says, these cows think that they can fight. I'm sorry for them. Ondo people should be looking at them. This is very wrong. I kept asking of what significance is Amotekun. So the, ultimate is, the ultimatum is just for talking sacks so or talking sick. The resident must rise up and defend themselves. Killing and adoption after the ultimatum? Something is fishy here. It's fishy between the leaders and the headsmen. Everyone needs to be wise and observant. All of us will have absence in this country. Then after everything, now we see that these people, are, their plan is to wipe off indigents in this country then we'll see how to operate after them another one said oni should speak up now what is police doing you can see that these guys would never stop killings the authorities have not been able to do anything they have not been able to help the citizens the federal government is deliberately looking away so the people are not getting help. These Fulanese are hell-bent in conquering the South, just like they did to the Aousas. Anybody seeing these as ordinary cows is still sleeping and needs to wake up immediately. If it's about cattle rearing, then they would have irrigated 
they planted grass in so many parts of the north for their cows. Thank you, viewers, for listening to this news and also for listening to the comments of um, the, the, the indigents of Undo State. Hmm. I think with what these people have just done, it's high time for the people of Undo State to take uh, to, to take a drastic action on this Flanets men. You can imagine. Imagine. We are missing seeing the points. These people are elders. They are they, they, they are earthmen that has the that does not have the interest of the of not just Nigerians but Christians. This is very dangerous. Now, the people of the Ondo State are, uh, uh, are not safe. They're in, they're in, big, uh, big, they're in a big uh, problem now. If this is their mindset, then it is better to see it a war. Yes. Better to see it as a war. In order to put a permanent stop to all this nonsense. You can imagine. Although people should prepare for war against this Fulani Edsmen and the Yoruba leaders and governors, they are the enemy of these people. They are. The government is our enemy. It's the enemy of Undo State, not just Undo State, every state in this country. They are. They will need to fight them with everything they have. So many times they we hear of Unoke three times now in this month, in last month, January. We had every news that we hear it's hear about is the Fulanese and the Undo State residents. This is not something that we should just take as if it's nothing or uh, is not Something that should be that should be take seriously. No, so I think the on those states, um, resident should do something, since their governors have refused to take, uh, to take precautions, or refused to t to, to to fight, for themselves. Then it's better, for them, to come out, and take actions, by themselves. Their lives and properties are not safe. They are in danger. So it's better for them to just let go of the governors and the Yoruba leaders for lives, for their lives to be safe. That is it. That is what should be done. So viewers, you have heard it all from um, the residents of Ondo State and also the news about uh, Fulani Edmen, what they did to OPC members in Ondo State that made people react. So, viewers, what is your take on this? Your comments concerning this news is very much important. Kindly drop them below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button for more updates. Thank you.